Hello everyone and welcome to Beam NG Drive. Now if you've ever played Beam or watched videos on Beam you may recognize this interior as belonging to the Sheria FCV platform. Um, now that platform hosts the Vivas hatchback which you can see in front and the Tograk SUV. However today we're checking out a vehicle that is neither of those and it fills a niche that this game has definitely been missing since the platform was introduced. You see French cars don't really sell very well in the US and neither do hatchbacks to be completely honest. Um, Americans seem a lot more fond of sedans even if they are small you know stuff like the Ford Fiesta is only sold in the US as a sedan and that leads us on to what I'm driving now because this is the rework of the Sheria Emousse. Now this was a mod that was released many years ago onto the repo um, but you know throughout the updates that Beam has had over the years it has gotten outdated and needed to be reworked. And that task has been undertaken by a team of people, um, Shados being the one who I've been in contact with and he has taught me through a lot of the work that they have gone into to make this thing work in current versions of Beam. Now as you can see this is um, kind of an interestingly styled um, saloon based on the Vivas styling mainly, um, you know, it, it's more akin to a Vivas by when I'm talking about the, uh, you know, the headlights and taillights and all that. Um, but it definitely has its own kind of styling element, stuff like this very, very short um, rear glass. Bit of a bit of a post box to look through, but it's fine. Um, but in this mod, it also includes some stuff that we haven't seen in regular Beam for cars on this platform, and that is US models. And that is what I'm driving right now. This is a US spec base model. Um, it has a 1.8 four cylinder. As you can see, the front lights have yellow side markers. It has US plates. Um, it has different tail lights and indicators. And possibly uh, the worst slash best thing to come to this car, a CVT. So I believe now the um, the crown of the vehicle with the biggest Altima energy in BMG will now be taken by the MOSA. Now more than just replicating regular Vivas configs for the MOSA and adding some US lights onto them, this mod actually comes with a massive, massive amount of skins and other configs that really I would say add an element of depth that this vehicle has been needing because to be completely honest, what with us having one real European map and you know there's the ETK center but that doesn't particularly count and everything else being US it has for someone like me a bit of an anorak who doesn't like driving anachronistic I think that's the word vehicles in maps where they don't belong this has been a very very cool addition so that you know I can drive in America in my French saloon now throughout this video I'm going to be focusing on checking out the configs which are not, um, you know, which are more than just direct um, transferings of the VAS configs onto the EBUSA. And with that we're going to start out with this, which is the mall security. <laughs> How quintessentially American. I, I, I absolutely love this thing. It is such a silly config. It serves no real purpose apart from the fact that I am extremely glad it exists. <laughs> I'm driving around this little strip mall here. You! I don't even have sirens to turn on. I can't even pull anyone over. I'm just just telling him off. Whatever you're doing, I don't like it because I am, I am, I am Paul Blart but in BeamNG. <laughs> <laughs> now this is based on one of the slightly higher trim models, uh, still has a CVT, I believe it also has the same engine, but it has alloy wheels and plastic bumpers, which makes sense. Oh, apparently the mall security are not immune from the law. Now while any respectable mall security cop would hand in his fake badge upon being chased by the police, um, this mod also includes configs that are possibly less likely to do that, such as this, the Turbo Burger convict. So finally a more modern vehicle for delivering pizzas. I wish that this was a, a career mode game you know, that you could do. You, know, you start it up and you're given, you know, you have a vehicle, you paint it with the turbo burger livery and then you go around the map delivering pizzas. That would be great and this would be perfect for it because it is just the AI are doing things. It is just the vehicle for beating on. <gasps> that was surprisingly painful. Oh, my front wheel is not happy with me right now. Oh, 
I'm, I'm, I'm just going to have to assume or hope that the pizza is supposed to be delivered here. Now, while we leave our wanted Turbo Burger and Rousset in that alleyway there, we can escape by calling the Dry Cab Company, because yes, this also comes with taxi variants, um, which again is something that I think modern vehicles in this game are very much missing, with the uh, the exception of the the, the, the the Bastion, that's the one, um, because, you know, not all taxis are big V6 not muscle cars, but big V6 saloons. I am in trouble again. They found me! Now, these, uh, all of these ones that I've been checking out just now have been based on the, the same variant, which is this. As I said, it's the 130, um, which is kind of the slightly above base CVT 1.84 cylinder. Now, while the, uh, the kind of base models of the European Vivas and the European Amuse would be the turbocharged 1.23 cylinder, it does make more sense that this would use a slightly larger... Whoa! Officers! Was it really that necessary? This would, uh, that these would use a slightly larger engine. Now, I guess that helps you to see that the, uh, the deformation for this vehicle... Um, on the bits that have been altered, you know, the uh, rear quarter panels and all that, is very, very impressive. Um, there's no real spiking to speak of or, you know, strange collision physics. It, it is a well-made adaptation of the regular, <laughs> the regular hatchback version to a saloon. Oh my god. As it turns out, this thing can survive quite a few big hits. I, I evaded? Okay, there's a cop literally right up there, but but sure, I definitely did evade. We'll we'll, we'll take that. Now, while quite a few of the um, the MUC variants are just kind of direct adaptations um, of the previous Vivas versions to the saloon and also to the US market, there are a few exclusive ones, such as this. This is the uh, the vacation edition of the I believe it's the S230 or the 230S, I can never remember, which adds, you know, a few little extra details, this very pretty paint colour, um, a tow hitch, some roof bars, which I do like, I'm a big fan of roof bars, and a little lip spoiler, which again, very, very nice, would not have complained if it did not have it, but I'm very glad it does. Now, this thing handles just about as well as you would expect, um, f you know, it's similar to the uh, Vivas, but obviously it has different weight distribution and, um, different amount of chassis stiffening. I would actually assume it probably has a, an even stiffer chassis because of the additional bracing, um, you know, between the, uh, the the cargo area and the passenger compartment. Um, but either way, whether that's true or not, I could just be completely wrong. It handles as well as you would expect because the Vivas in general is a very, very good handling car. But let's say I've decided to uh, to hand myself in and to turn my life around from the previous life of crime I was living. Well, I could always go and join up the police. In this, the Barasco City Police Department, MUSA. Again, more configs. I love it. And very, very cool to see the amount of effort that has gone into adapting previous you know, skins of other vehicles to this completely, you know, not completely scratch made, but this definitely different enough that simply porting them wouldn't work body i'm sure there was some english there somewhere but it's a lot more than just ports of uh, other vehicle skins there are also completely scratch made skins such as this emergency fire response skin um a livery that we don't have on any other vehicle i mean obviously there are fire chief romas and stuff like that but those are completely different to this uh i believe this is another brilliant shadows production now all of these uh kind of emergency pursuit ones that i've been looking at um there is also a couple of other police variants i believe um they all come with diesel diesel engines which is something i find a bit peculiar myself but if it's the decision they've chosen to make then fair enough i'm i mean i know that stuff like vw jettas and were sold in the US with diesels, so it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. And while we're at the track here, it seems like the perfect opportunity, despite the fact that this is made for Hirochi Raceway, something I only just noticed, to use this pace car, which is very, very cool. Well, safety car, pace car, same thing, you know. Um, this is based off one of the faster ones. I believe it's all-wheel drive as well. Very nice. And again, you know, it's not, it's the little things that really count to me, and I, I, I do 
whether everyone who downloads this mod will see it or whether it's just me being a massive nerd i i see the effort that has gone into making these law friendly configs with their own skins with their own custom parts and i really really appreciate it big 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 fan now if you want to be rather than you know leading the race providing safety if you want to actually be winning a race there are definitely configs for that such as this tarmini again another very very cool skin i don't have to tell you what this is based off oh i wasn't paying attention to where i was driving i recovered it i haven't recovered it oh no oh. ouch sorry car my bad <laughs> Now, while I'm here, I will also show off the other liveries that have been made, um, such as this. Uh, this is the hill climb livery. And again, I, do I have to tell you what this is based off? I feel like this is less obvious, but it's still pretty obvious. And I really, really like it. I like the gradients. There is also this Falk Rally version, which is used on the Rally configs, um, that I'm sure you will have time to go check out yourself when you download this mod. A Dreard Racing livery. Very, very cool. Big fan of this. I like the stripes and the uh, big logo. This is one that I would be probably using myself in my racing colours. I wonder how it would look. Oh yes, that looks brilliant. I love it. And this very, very bright, um, eye-searing, recognisable, I'll say, um, dreared racing livery. Oh, and I, I almost missed one. Another one in the saga of it always looks better in my colours. This Gripple Rally livery. Now, more than just coming with uh, with a bunch of very cool liveries for, for racing vehicles and for police vehicles and for all all types of working vehicles, it also comes with a livery that looks like this. Mismatched body panels, scuffs, plastic bumpers, possibly a bit of rust and lacquer peel. This is the, I think it's called the French resident version. <laughs> I guess it, I mean to be fair with how they park in in Paris and other parts of France I would not be surprised if if this vehicle would look like this after only a couple of years now here's a rundown of all the uh, configs because frankly it would take me a million years to go through all of them um, but as you can see you know there's there's so many different liveries made and adapted you know there's there's the French police and the Italian police and the German police I think that's the Italian fire service and state troopers and all of this a medical EMS response it's incredible and you know stuff like US and European versions of the electric one as well this was the French resident that we checked out there's also the work edition which has a ladder on top reminds me strongly of my dad's older dad's old Peugeot 306 because that is what a lot of these cars get used for and that is a thing that mod makers add with configs that the base game devs just don't really touch which is fair enough they don't want to clutter it but I personally really enjoy it um, but this final one that we're going to check out is this, the Emuse Arsenic Concept, which was revealed at the 2020 Paris Motor Show. It has the same powertrain as the Vavas S 410Q Arsenic, but under a sedan body. Due to lack of interest for a performance version of the Emuse, it never made it to the production line. And I think this is a, a, a fitting end to the showcase of the configs, with quite possibly the coolest one of all. It's even got its own custom plate. I mean, how cool is that? And again, it would be very, very easy for them to have just made every single one, including all the arsenic ones, into Emusets. But then it wouldn't make as much sense. This does make sense, you know. They sent Shadow and Emotion, but never actually make it. What a brilliant, brilliant mod. Now, before I go chuck everything down the hill, uh, just a, a little word that I believe if I've scheduled this correctly. This mod should be releasing on the repo today. So go have a look down um, either at the link in the description um, or on the repo page. Um, when it is there, I will add a link to it in the description, but uh, I'm not always the quickest to react because I'm a bit slow. Now, obviously credit does have to be given to, I believe it was Car Killer who released the original mod. Um, but also to Shadows and the rest of the team who updated this to the current version and added a lot more stuff that the original one didn't have to make it into a much more fleshed out model. Um, now I think it is time to chuck some cars down a hill. Now as you may have come to expect with this series of um, modded car reviews we have brought the MOCs to the big big hill. And we're going to chuck a, a variety of them down. I'm driving the uh, the Arsenic Concept because I think it is my favourite one. It's a really cool thing. And I, I like having concept vehicles in the game. 
um just because there there's something that no mod really really creates to be honest but let's let's get up close and possibly personal with the other vehicles hello you lot we can leave the trunk open i'm sure that won't create any sort of problems and you could all flee from me i'm not that scary but if you insist oh we have a few few different models crashing into each other oh lag spike it's all fine it's all fine kept it under control we're going to pass the electric variant really rapidly oh i do not have all that much steering oh my god i'm going for some dramatic rolls somebody else is going for some dramatic rolls jesus wept <laughs> we're gonna let that fall down the hill and go see what these lot are doing oh <gasps> I, I think I think splattered is the word to use. I don't know if a single one of these has actually made it down to the bottom, even to this little ramp. I am still falling. Gee, that is crushed. This one, I think this was the French version. It's so flat you can't even tell anymore. That's the mall security. Not, not, not doing too hot. Oh, the state trooper is actually still moving, just to out crabbing very rapidly. It looks like somebody landed on it. Well, that's the uh, the vacation edition, I think. It's very squashed, hard to tell. And the electric one as well it doesn't even need to have an engine to get mashed up in this. And the race one. The race one barely made it down at all. How do you crash like that? I mean, I know I did as well, but that's that's not my fault. That was somebody else's fault. <laughs> so in conclusion, all all of these got very rapidly destroyed. I don't really know what the uh, what I attempt to achieve every time I do this. It's just amusing enough that I like to do it, you know. Well, you guys aren't complaining about me chucking vehicles down a hill, are you? I should bloody hope not. Well, that has been it for this video. Um, thank you to Shadows for providing access to the mod. Um, and thank you to everyone who made the mod. There's a wheel. There goes a wheel. Still going. <laughs> yeah, thank you to everyone who made the mod. A uh, link will be in the description once the updated version is released. If you like the video, then uh, please feel free to like and subscribe and all that, uh, all that good stuff. Um, thank you all very, very much for watching, and bye-bye.